Uh, I received the World Food Prize in 2005 for the work I did in Asian countries, working with the small-scale farmers, innovating technologies that will suit the social, economic and cultural aspects of those communities in the rural areas of Asia. And that has been very successful, that is one thing. The second aspect we were looking at rural women, how to make them productive in their households and make uh, earning members in their household. So we tr motivated them, trained them and gave the technology that are suitable with low investment and low risk. And that has been very successful and a large number of women have I been mean, involved in rural aquaculture. That resulted increasing their uh, family nutrition, increase in their household income and uh, most of all giving a status to the woman within the family and within the community. I think when we are doing it, technology transfer from research institutions to the farming community. Lot of government missionaries involved extension system. But here in this case, what we find is, if we are able to show the farmers able to increase their production by themselves and make some profit, the technology is spreading like wildfire because the neighboring farmers are seeing what this farmer has done with the little resources that he has. So he thinks, if he can do that, why I cannot do that? If you go back about uh, 10 years back, you know, there was not much of involvement of social scientists or economists in development of this technology because the technical people think that they know everything they can do with the technology. But only recently that awakening come that we had to close work with the social scientists and economists to understand the needs of the small farming community. So this is what we have done actually. Though they are the NGOs, though they are not the social scientists, but they have the social background, I should say, that having worked with the farming community for a number of years, very closely with them. So they understand their problems, their resources, what they have, and their needs. So that's where they, we were able to get the grasp. And so, and slowly also the social scientists and economic, uh, economic scientists were involved in this uh, integrated approach to uh, food security.